Andy, welcome to Brisbane for the first time. How have you found the tournament in the city here? Uh, it's been, well, the tournament's been great. I haven't seen too much of the city, but the, the tournament's been really good. Um, facilities are, are excellent. We've got a really good gym. Um, the restaurant's great. Um, we haven't any practice courts for, for the guys. Um, guys and girls to, to get enough hits in on, which uh, isn't always the case at, at tournaments of this level. So I think it's, it's, it's been a very good, good tournament so far. And how are you feeling at the start of the season? Did your pre-season training in Miami go well? Yeah, it went good. Um, you know, you, all, you you never know exactly how you're going to feel though, uh, until you get on the court and play a few matches. Um, started off a little bit rusty today, but felt better towards the end. And naturally, the, the goal to try and feel better each day. And worked hard in the off season, and hopefully that'll pay off. And you're working now with Ivan Lendl. Can you tell us how that partnership came about? Uh, well. I, I, called him um, in December when I was training over in Florida, I spoke to him for a little bit, liked, um, liked what, what, how the discussion went, so we met up uh, a couple of times and, and chatted about things and that was it really and the um, rest is history and we'll start, uh, start working together just before this training opened. What attracted you to him as a coach? Uh, well, I just think it's quite obvious. I mean, he's great player, he has a lot of experience um, he also went through a lot of the, the same things that, that I've been through as well and um, he's a very hard worker, very professional um, didn't leave any stone unturned which is something that I think the last uh, couple of years I've been, been much much better at and um, can definitely learn a lot from him And have you learnt anything from him already in your short time together? No, well, no, I mean, I've only, I mean, I've only spent one, one day on the court with them, so, um, you know, it takes, takes a while to, to implement changes, it takes a lot of uh, time on the practice court and, and work and, and discussions, so um, I'm sure I've learned some, some stuff from um, before and during the, the Aussie Open, but a lot of the work that we'll, we'll do will get done after that. And we saw Novak Djokovic dominate on the ATP World Tour last year. Do you think he can maintain that level this year and finish number one again? Well, I hope not. Um, yeah, it's for, for me and the rest of the guys to, to try and stop that. So, you know, he, he did set the bar very high last year. Um, he probably didn't finish the year as well as he, he would have liked, but it um, seems like he started this year well. He played good in Ab Abu Dhabi um, all very well, so I'm sure he's going to be uh, right up there again. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Uh, I don't, actually. Didn't, uh, didn't make any. Um, I'll have a think about that and, and get back to you.